So I want to talk about this painting, my chair. Some paintings, when you make, when I make them, it's I have my paints out and life is bliss, and I'm just painting and it's great. And those usually end up in someone's basement somewhere. Uh, or sometimes, maybe I'm feeling sad, um, and I'm like, come on, man, just just draw a chair or something, you know, just draw a window or something like that, and like, I'll maybe I'll draw that. <clears throat> Those really end up um, good or uh, so this one is like neither of these. This is a painting. I wanted to show it. This is a painting that was very carefully planned out and uh, something that I had in my mind what it should look like and I wanted to execute that. So it's, a, it's drying right now, but I do have some anxiety just even having it here because it's um could fall down and then i made a video talking about it and it falls down it's tragic so when i'm painting it too this one it's like playing the game operation when you're a kid and it's it's kind of a high stress situation um so anyway i had something in mind definite in mind that i wanted to execute and so i i feel like i did do that um it didn't doesn't look the way that it had looked in my mind what how the colors would interact necessarily but um besides some mistakes that i made it does look like what i had in my mind and that's to me like art that will last for a while um some of the other paintings are you never know. It's like a crapshoot. This one, I don't know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But so I just want to talk about it. Um, so the, the rule was you get to paint it once and can't make, can't uh, cover up any mistakes and you only get to do it once. So that's what I did make some mistakes. Okay, you might say, well, like, isn't that good or isn't that art? Um, but not for me. For this one, I didn't want to make any mistakes. So I used them. Um, the main color here was permanent rose. And the main color here was phthalo green. And then those two together made the black. And I called it my chair because it was referencing Van Gogh's chair. He had like a wicker chair, simpler shape. Um, also, there's a painting of his where two people are walking along the shore and it's sort of like a shoreline. But it's in his, it's uh, going as a like negative slope. So I, just in case, wanted to put a positive slope. So it's referring to that as well. Uh, what else can I say? So there was some, there's some, freedom in creating it, which is enjoyable. And that's in each stroke sort of has its own moment of chaos or possible mistake. Uh, I'll talk about just like a little bit, one more last thing about the colors um, and the chair. So I, I did put some, some highlighted colors and that's in my mind. It looked like white, but you could still see some uh, highlights of colors. Like this had um, like, like I believe indigo in it. And this had a green, this part of the chair, like a green tint to it. And this has a purple. You can see it up close kind of. This has a yellow. You can see that probably pretty clearly. And then this had like a blue tint to it. <clears throat> um, and I thought that would stand out more, but it's just, you can see the yellow more probably because I added more yellow because it's hard to tell if you're making a light yellow or it's still white. Um, but when it was, while I was making it, it was very focused. Um, I did yell at my cat at some point. So I feel like, is it too focused as I, was I really stressed out when I was making it? Uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> but and afterwards I, it was a great relief because, uh, this painting may not be in anyone's home, but to me, it's a reference. Like I can re refer to this because I want to make another one. Like learning some things I learned while making this 
and referring to this one. And I guess the thing that I like about it the best is the the shape of the chair because it took me a long time to figure out how to draw that and um, get get I guess get familiar with the chair, like noticing the pattern. Like these, just when you first look at it, these are so random, all these little squiggles. But now I see, oh, there's a there's a pattern of the chair, which I'm sure the carpenter, um, you know, it's so much easier for a carpenter because they can just put it in a spinning. Um, have you ever seen someone make a chair? And you can just they put it in this. It's almost like a potter's wheel. They spin it right through and make those little uh, those those circles. But it's ha harder to draw it. So uh, this is my chair. Um, like sand through the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. <laughs>